going with the sushi theme that Tyler set up here. He always has a fun theme. Did anyone catch it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about uh, our new library basics class that's being required of everybody in the. Um, oh yeah, I made it move. That's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so why are we making everyone do this and why did we change it? Um, we wanted to make sure that everyone's using Horizon consistently across the region. Um, we wanted to standardize the training so that everyone who starts working in a library in Selco um, has the same basic understanding of circulation. We wanted to provide a level of system security, data privacy, um, because everyone, all 421 people who have a login, also have access to the thousands of people who are in our database. So we really need to make sure that they're using it correctly and um, that covers that. Um, so I, I don't like being read to it. I, if you want me to read them all, I can. And I can pass these, or I can uh, share the, the slides with you too at another time. But there, sushi is so pretty. There were so many pretty pictures, so I, I chose a few of those. So we started out with an assessment of what do we have so far for training and we looked at the current Circulation 1 training and realized it had really become dated and there had too much stuff was jammed into it and it was confusing and that there was just too much information and it wasn't all just a basic level. So uh, realized we needed to really start from scratch and, and that's what we did and I worked I realized we needed to also update some of the screenshots because they were dated um, and some of the videos used older versions of things that are no longer current at Horizon. Um, so, uh, and then the chunks of information, some of it were just so big that you couldn't hang on to all the information until you get to the quiz. <laughs> and then, um, that was confusing too, so I broke it down into shorter chunks of information. Um, Okay, so I um, I worked with Cindy Baker, who's and she's Horizon, <coughs> and she has been a circulation person, and so she knows the circulation process really well. I did circulation at Rochester Public Library, so I have a background in helping patrons directly. So I, I knew the processes for someone who's new to a circulation desk, um, which I think helped us to figure out what we needed to do in a library basics class. Um, and Cindy was very helpful too because I didn't know Horizon as well. I used um, Symphony, so a different product, same company. Um, Tyler and Cheryl were great to coordinate because we had to work out some things in Horizon itself. Uh, Tyler was able to like pull up a list of all the people who have a login in Horizon, and he's able to like turn off when like if you don't get the training done in a year you can turn off your login and you have to make sure you take the class before you get back in technical things like that they were great help um we started with an outline of the class what are the basic things you need to know about running a library in selco and part of that um, we had to look at all the different sizes of libraries we have if you're a small library where there's only two people working you need to know all the functions whereas if you're in a large library you might just check in check out um, but we also needed you to know that if you were just doing check-in and check-out, you should also know that a pull list happens every day. So we included things like that that are um, common things that people do at the CERC desk or in a library in our region. Um, I created new charts, I made a glossary, <laughs> um, new directions, we uh, updated the function keys. So I hope the printables are useful for you. All of these things can be printed off, even as, as little as how do you check out. That can be printed off as one sheet if you're just tr doing some training at the desk. Um, let's see. Anything else I need to tell you in there? Any questions about it? At the end, I'm going to show you some results of our feedback and our um, stats so far of people who have been working on it. And what I will be working on now are some monthly reports. We're going to make sure that everyone knows who's taken it, well not everyone knows who's taken it, but those who have taken it will be uh, given credit for it and um, and then I'll send out email reminders to make sure everybody's on task and getting getting it done within the year. Oh, 
<laughs> now it's doing it. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> Go on to the next one. <laughs> um, this just shows you I created some new videos in there using current information. Uh, the new printables. Let's see if that will show up. Um, for me, when I was looking at the Circulation 1 class, I realized there isn't even a window that shows you what the parts of Horizon are. So for me, it was a little confusing when I was starting in Horizon because they would name something, like they'd go to the Circulation window, but I didn't know where that window was that they were talking about. So I thought that that was helpful for people just starting out. And I hope that works. Um, taking new screenshots with the Harry Potter theme, I like throwing in Hermione and her crazy hair there. Um, and then we did some testing after I got the training written. And we tested with a variety of different people. People who know circulation, people who don't know circulation, people who are experienced, and then staff that are brand new. So I wanted to make sure that I had a variety of people looking at it so they could help me decide what I needed to tweak. And then um, we've got some evaluations already done. You can see that 87 people have already started it. 69, actually 70 completed. I got another email this morning saying that there are 70 people done. Um, there are 421 logins on Horizon, so if 35 people a month do this, we'll all be trained by a year, which is great. Um, and here's some feedback I got. Which it has been overwhelmingly positive, which I appreciate. Um, and then you rated how the overall experience of using the online training went. And it's mostly excellent and fine and a little bit tolerable, but there's nobody who said it was intolerable, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> um, and most people said they intend to apply what they've learned from the class, which is great because even, I mean, a lot of you have been using this for a long time, and if you said you wouldn't apply any of it, that would be sad, and <laughs> that would mean I need some more, um, I need to do some more work. But, um, overwhelmingly, it looks like it's going well, and it, it only takes about an hour, so I don't think it's too much time. The nice thing is you can start and stop as you go. Um, so you can do it over a week or a couple weeks if you want to. It doesn't take long at all. Um, is there another note? Oh, and once you have completed that, we do have other classes that are already available online. If you didn't know about it, there's cataloging that you can do online. There's also um, there's a short add items class if you need to do that. There's a WordPress, a WordPress class that Terry put together. So um, feel free to go back into cloth and peruse the other classes that are available there for you. Any questions? Any comments about taking it? Any experience with it? Okay, awesome.